We want to welcome for the first time. Oh no, actually they've been here several times. <laughs> Sheep dogs are in town. I've got Ewan and I've got Ryan. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Good. It was a late night last night, but we're here. Yes. Yeah. I mean, there's something that never dies about you guys that I like. You like to party, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to drink a few jars, yeah. Jars? Yeah. It's like I haven't a, heard that for a while. I think it's an English slang. I'm trying, oh. to, trying to perpetuate it into the Canadian lexicon. <laughs> All right, okay. You know what? I want to throw this one out at you first. 2012 was a huge year for you. You won a lot of hardware at the Junos. Three, I think. You got your cover on the Rolling Stone. So what is life like now for sheepdogs? Uh, you know, I, I, I drive around town on my rolls, eat a lot of caviar. Uh, <laughs> a lot of making it rain. A lot of making it rain. Wow. Yeah. You know, just living, living fat, large, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I have a, a, a glass mansion uh, really? that looks over the ghetto, you know, so that, I could, that, that the people in the ghetto can be inspired by my success. Wow. That's, what, that's, a, that's actually what uh, MC Hammer did. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> no. He did. He built a glass mansion overlooking where he used to live in, in like And then Oakland. he went bankrupt. Yeah, he did. So, Ugly. Hammer, don't hurt him. No. <laughs> Saskatoon's MC Hammer over there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know it's like coming back home here for you guys, but uh, you're busy, though, doing a lot of stuff. What have you been up to? Uh, just a lot of the usual, playing shows and making music, playing music, that kind of stuff. I mean, this weekend's obviously very busy. We're here. We're actually playing a show on Saturday in BC and then coming back to play the show on Sunday. So we crazy. It's wild times. That's how we like we like to be busy. It's it's good. Yeah, and I mean pretty cool. You're gonna be part of the big tribute to Randy Bachman, BTO. Yes. No pressure? Uh, you know, a little <laughs> pressure. I mean anytime you play on T V you're a little bit, you know, you don't want to screw up in front of millions of people and then the added factor of playing somebody else's song, you know, you don't want to screw up in front of Randy Bachman. So uh, you know we we practice a lot. Let's just say Sunday night, we're going to be taking care of business. Oh, um, okay. Some things have definitely changed. Ewan's really coming out with uh, some good one-liners. But yeah. um, songwriting, we've had Ron Sexsmith in here. We had the Sadies. Uh, you know, it's, for you guys, it's just good old rock and roll, I think. Does, so I was wondering, does the music come first and then the, and then the words or vice versa? Depends on the song. I mean, a lot of it is the music first. Mm -hmm. he's, he's the... He's the words man there, so. Well, he thinks he is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I know you are, but, you know, sometimes it's a neat perspective from the other members, right? Sure, Because yeah. you're pumping it out, but, but well, yeah, well. is it is it music first and then words, or? I think depends. it's usually a musical idea, like it's a riff, or it's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, something musical, and then you attach lyrics to it. Very rarely do you have an idea, like, I might have a, a song title that I think is cool, and I might write it down on my phone, like a little note, and then... You know, when I have some music, I'm like, what, you know, what could I call this? I'll look back and, and try to pair something up. But I think usually the best songs kind of write themselves. Like, they mm -hmm. almost come out of the ether, and they just come really quickly. And so, you know, usually that's music first. It's, 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 a, weird, it's a weird, you know, game where there's nothing tangible about it. It's all intangible. Yeah. Well, if you look at the category this year now, unfortunately, you're not. Your name is missing, but... I remember when I first met you guys at the Western Canada Music Awards when it was called that in Brandon and you guys just jammed in this empty bar and it was so amazing. And to see where you've grown and where you are now, Ryan, I mean, there's so many rock bands that want to be like you. When I first interviewed you, you guys was like, well, you know, we like, you know, we played with Rami Mays, we play at Times Change, and we just like good old rock and roll. Mm -hmm. But now young bands are saying, oh, yeah, the sheepdogs. <laughs> How does, is that kind of weird, or is that just kind of, huh? I mean, it's kind of weird. I, I, I think it's, it's weird for me to, you know, because we're just doing our thing, and we've yeah. been successful doing that. I think it's weird to think about people, like, looking up to us like that, but it's cool. I mean, if I think we spent a lot of time where people talked about how our sound didn't necessarily mesh with what popular music was, mm -hmm. and I think if we could at all be an inspiration for people that, like, stick to what they're doing and not necessarily change what they're doing to be successful, that's cool, but I am always, like, you know, bashful when it comes to that kind of stuff, because I think we're just, you know, dudes from Saskatchewan that play rock and roll music. That's basically what it is. No magic <laughs> outside of that, really. Uh, well, what does the Mr. MC Hammer of the Sheepdogs think about that? 
Just dudes playing I, rock and roll? No, I'm very magical. I'm filled with <laughs> magic and, I don't know. What was the question? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, no. You're still dudes from Saskatoon that love to play music. Totally. I mean, we obviously, you know, we get to fly places and we don't have to do as much driving in the van. And there's a lot of perks that come with sort of where we are now. But, mm -hmm. like, you know, on a basic level, we play music because we enjoy it. We get to make a living at it. That's awesome, too. And if people look up to us, that's really, you know, that's, that's an honor for sure. Like, I mean, I look up to bands all the time. I mean, the first show we ever played in Winnipeg it was our first tour, and our, our sound guy was uh, Rusty from The Waking Eyes, and, uh, and he's now a really good friend of ours. But, you know, I looked up to their band back in the day, and it's just, you know, got to become friends with him. And, uh, you know, it's good to have Canadian bands, especially from cities near yours, to look up to. It's just... It's it's uh it's inspiring for sure. Well, we can hardly wait for the new stuff to come out, and I'm sure we won't have to wait too long. But come Sunday, the Sheepdogs will definitely be taking care of business. For oh, Go yeah. Junos, I'm Tracy Koga.